These are, um, you know, difficult conversations. There are some disagreements, but we do feel like that we can come to some sort of agreement. Um, we need to do it quickly, though. As Congresswoman Stephanie Bice told Gaylord News, time is running out in D.C. as House Republicans struggle to find agreement on how much the federal government should spend for the next year. If you want to know what the average person in rural America is dealing with, it is inflation that is driven by devaluation of our currency because of runaway federal spending. Harline conservatives, which includes Congressman Josh Prakeen from Northeast Oklahoma, want to see spending cuts that more moderate Republicans argue won't make it out of a Democrat-controlled Senate. If there's no agreement by midnight Saturday night, the government will shut down, meaning many federal employees will either be forced to work without pay or be furloughed, sent home without pay, until lawmakers can agree on spending. People that rely on federal services would also see an impact. There would likely be delays in getting passports and firearm permits. The White House says they're concerned about the WIC program, which provides 7 million low-income women and children with food and health benefits. There are real consequences to real people in a real way uh, when there is a shutdown. To avoid a shutdown, a spending bill must pass both chambers in the U.S. Capitol and be signed by the president before that October 1 deadline.